A shaky afternoon for much of Southern California after a 5.3 earthquake hit off the Ventura County coast. It took a lot of people by surprise, but the folks at Caltech actually got a heads up before the shaking started. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is live in Pasadena to show us how that was possible, Lisa. Well, what if you could get a heads up before the shake, rattle, and roll? That's exactly what happened here at Caltech, and they hope it happens for everyone soon. Earthquake. When the 5.3 magnitude earthquake struck in the ocean off the coast of Ventura, researchers at Caltech and elsewhere got a very early warning. Earthquake. Earthquake. Dr. Jen Andrews, staff seismologist at Caltech, said it was a great example of how the early warning technology, still in its testing phase, works. Here in Pasadena, we received about 10 seconds warning that the shaking was on its way. The warning system is made up of hundreds of sensors scattered up and down our coastline, especially where active faults are. That information travels faster than the shaking waves. And so, depending on your distance away from the earthquake, you actually get a little bit of a warning. It depends on how far away you are from the earthquake. So Santa Barbara uh, got about five seconds warning. Malibu area, maybe about uh, eight seconds of warning. So today, when the shaking began, the sensors began to send out alerts to researchers, utilities, and others testing the system. But in the future, it should be going out to the radio systems, the TV systems, people's cell phones, any way that we can get the message to as many people as possible as fast as possible. Lucy Jones of Caltech says the warning system can't predict quakes, but every second will make a difference. What it does is it allows a surgeon to pull the knife out of your chest, the dentist to take the drill out of your mouth, the elevator to move to the nearest floor and open the door so when the electricity goes out in a really big earthquake, you aren't stuck there for the next three days. Every second counts. Now, the new budget approved by Congress and signed by the president allocates $23 million for a West Coast early detection system. That is double what they had in the last budget. Lucy Jones says it is a good start, but more funding is needed. Back to you.